Alright, there has been a lot of fuss on which is the better aircraft, or which one will win, among the American Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor and the Russian Sukhoi Su-35S Flankery. Both are the best air superiority fighters of their respective nations in operation today, and both of them are beast. No doubt about that. But if we were to compare them head to head, then who would win the battle? Of course there are different situations and tactics that come into play, and complex mathematics should be done in order to find the exact probability of one winning or losing. But here what we have done today is, we have taken these fighters to the fighter academy where they will be tested on different subjects which have their own credit score. Same like in your exams, if you wish. There are 11 different test subjects, out of which, 7 have credit score of 5, and the remaining 4 have a credit score of 4. 5 credit score subjects are speed, rate of climb, unit cost of production, thrust to weight ratio, armaments, G limits, and radar cross section. The next 4 credit score subjects are range, service ceiling, super cruise speed, and combat radius. The aircraft with the better number will get the full credit score, and then the other aircraft's credit score will be calculated accordingly. Alright. Let's move to our first test, which is speed. I think I do not need to say what speed is, but let's do a quick review. Speed is the distance traveled per unit of time. It is how fast an object is moving. With that in mind, in terms of speed the F-22 Raptor is little bit ahead than Sukhoi Su-35, a mere 14 km per hour difference. But number is number. Since the F-22 has the higher speed, 24-14 km per hour, it gets the perfect 5 credit score in terms of speed. The Russian Sukhoi with its speed of 2400 km per hour is not that far away though. It has a credit score of 4.97 which is just 0.03 away. Now let's move on to our next exam, which is also a 5 credit score examination, rate of climb. In aeronautics, the rate of climb is an aircraft's vertical speed, the positive or negative rate of altitude change with respect to time. So, basically it's a number in distance per unit time, which says how much in distance can you climb in any given unit of time. In most ICAO member countries, even in otherwise metric countries, this is usually expressed in feet per minute, elsewhere, it is commonly expressed in meter per second. The rate of climb in an aircraft is indicated with a vertical speed indicator or instantaneous vertical speed indicator. The F-22 Raptor has a rate of climb of 62,000 feet per minute. Whereas, the Sukhoi Su-35 is quite behind, with 55,000 feet per minute of rate of climb. This means, if the requirement were to climb to a certain point, then F-22 Raptor would reach there first. Alright the credit score then. F-22 with its higher number gets the perfect 5, and Sukhoi Su-35 with 55,000 feet per min, will have a score of 4.43. Moving on, the next examination is of thrust to weight ratio. The thrust to weight ratio is simply a number which says how much thrust is available for the given weight of the aircraft. To take you vertically up, like the space shuttle does, the thrust to weight ratio of the aircraft should be greater than 1. With thrust to weight ratio equal to 1 you can remain stationary in the air but not accelerate up. But with higher than 1 thrust to weight ratio, you can accelerate up vertically. With that said, let's get into numbers. The thrust to weight ratio of the F-22 is 1.25, whereas that of the Sukhoi is 1.13, with 50% fuel. So, the credit score for the Lockheed F-22 is 5, and for the Sukhoi Su-35 is 4.52. Next, we have the test of armaments. The credit score for this part is also 5. The Sukhoi Su-35, S Flankery, has 12 hard points, underwing and under fuselage, to carry the weapon, and can carry the total of 8,000 kg of mission-specific weaponry. It is also equipped with a 30mm autocannon with 150 rounds. The F-22 Raptor, on the other hand, consists of only 4 hard points, underwing pylon stations, but it can carry more than 9,000 kg of weaponry, which is better than that of Sukhoi's 8,000 kg. A hardpoint, more formally known as a station or weapon station, is a location on an airframe designed to carry an external or internal load. This includes a station on the wing or fuselage of a civilian aircraft or military aircraft, where external jet engine, ordnance, countermeasures, gun pods, targeting pods or drop tanks can be mounted. With this said, the Sukhoi has an advantage of being capable of putting varieties of weapons according to specific missions, but has a lower payload capacity than that of F-22. 
since there are two variables and one is better at one and the one at another, but since I think the payload capacity has more effect than the hardpoints, the F-22 is going to get 5 and the Sukhoi is going to get 4.95. Let's move on to our next test which is of G-limits, formally called load factor. The G-load is the level of constant force that is applied to the aircraft in various maneuvers. In straight and level flight, the aircraft is in 1G flight. Gravity is pulling down, and the lift along the wing is counterbalancing that force to maintain flight at a constant altitude. The G-limits for both of the aircrafts are plus 9 Gs. This simply means that the aircraft is able to handle conditions that are up to plus 9 Gs greater than that, your structural integrity will not hold. Since they both have the same number they both get the perfect credit score of 5. We are halfway through the exam now. The current score is F22, perfect 25 and SU35, 23.87. Till now the F22 Rafter is winning the battle in numbers. But let's not get carried away. There are still 6 more exams remaining. Anything can happen. Don't go anywhere guys. Let's finish this up once and for all. In the meantime you can hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss stuffs from us. Alright, moving on to our next 5 credit score subject, we have unit cost of production. The cost to build one F-22 Raptor is around 150 million United States dollars, which is about the double cost required to build Su-35. Of course the defense budget of USA is lot higher than in any other country and will have more amount of money to build these fighters, but since we are taking individual tests the more money it takes to build, the less cost effective it is. So the Sukhoi Su-35 gets a full credit score of 5, and the F-22, with its staggering 150 million United States dollars to build one, gets the score of 2.83. Okay. We have radar cross-section next in our list. Radar cross-section RCS, is a measure of how detectable an object is by radar. A larger RCS indicates that an object is more easily detected. An object reflects a limited amount of radar energy back to the source, depending on several factors such as materials, size of the target, incident angle and so on. The RCS of Sukhoi Su-35 is reportedly said to be around 1 to 3 square meters. In contrast, the RCS of the F-22, though it's classified, is said to be around 0.0001 square meters from certain angles, which is extremely low. In fact it is lower RCS than that of a bumblebee. In this test the F-22 has outclassed Su-35 by more than 10,000%. We can even say that they are incomparable in terms of stealth. The F-22 is designed to be highly difficult to detect and track by radar. Almost all known possible measures were adapted in order to minimize the radar cross-section of the aircraft. The number has shown the effectiveness of those measures taken. Anyways, since we are giving credit score the F-22 gets the perfect 5, and the Sukhoi gets the lowest possible 0. Range is our next test which carries a credit score of 4. The maximum total range is the maximum distance an aircraft can fly between takeoff and landing, as limited by fuel capacity in powered aircraft, or cross-country speed and environmental conditions in unpowered aircraft. In the test of range, the Sukhoi Su-35 beats the Raptor by 637 kilometers. The range of Sukhoi with two external fuel tanks is 3600 kilometers at high altitude, and that of F-22 Raptor is 2963 kilometers. According to their numbers, the Sukhoi will get the perfect credit score of 4, whereas the Raptor gets the credit score of 3.29. Next, we have a test of a service ceiling. The service ceiling is the maximum usable altitude of an aircraft. Specifically, it is the density altitude at which flying in a clean configuration, at the best rate of climb airspeed for that altitude, and with all engines operating and producing maximum continuous power, will produce a given rate of climb. Basically it's a height where the rate of climb performance no longer holds up and actually starts to decline. The Sukhoi Su-35 has a service ceiling of 59,000 feet, which is 6,000 feet lower than that of F-22 Raptor, with a service ceiling of 65,000 feet. This simply means the F-22 Raptor's performance is as good as it is expected to be until 65,000 feet after that it decreases drastically. So with their respective numbers, F-22 gets the credit score of 4, and Su-35 gets a score of 3.63, in terms of service ceiling. Let's move on to our next test which is the combat radius. One thing to remember here is that, range will have direct effect on combat radius. 
A combat radius or radius of action in military terms refers to the maximum distance a ship, aircraft, or vehicle can travel away from its base along a given course with normal load and return without refueling, allowing for all safety and operating factors. This means the vulnerability of the airbases, such as aircraft carrier, is drastically reduced. The combat radius of Su-35 is 1,600 km and that of the F-22 is 1093 km. This means the Su-35 can travel far for its mission from its base than F-22 Raptor does. So with the better number the Sukhoi Su-35 gets the perfect score of 4. The F-22 with 1093 km of combat radius gets a credit score of 2.73. Last but not the least we have one examination remaining. It is the exam of the supercruise speed. Supercruise is the ability of an aircraft to go supersonic without the use of afterburners. The main advantage of supercruise is the ability to operate without afterburners, which consume large amounts of fuel. Afterburners generally have thrust-specific fuel consumption of over 1.8 to 2.5 and are very inefficient compared to conventional jet engine operation. The Sukhoi is able to supercruise at Mach 1.1, while the Raptor can do it at Mach 1.8, which means it has to burn much more fuel than F-22 does for the same amount of speed. So with their respective numbers F-22 gets a score of 4, and the Su-35 gets a score of 2.44. Ok so we have conducted all the tests and are now ready to sum up the scores, and let's find out who won. F-22 got a total score of 46.85 overall, out of 55 total, which is about 85%, where it totally outmatched the Russian Sukhoi in radar cross-section, and was quite better at trade of climb, thrust-to-weight ratio, service ceiling, and supercruise speed. On the other hand, Sukhoi got a total score of 42.94 overall, which is around 78%, where it was way better in terms of unit cost, combat radius, and range. Both of the aircraft had same G limits, and speed and armaments quality were about the same with just minor difference in favor of F-22. As we can see, the Sukhoi Su-35 was not particularly built for stealth technology. Maybe the cost to build was therefore low. But if we were not to consider the radar cross-section, then Sukhoi would have the a little bit better credit score than that of F-22. But that won't be an excuse during a battle. RCS is equally important for modern jet fighter. So guys what are your conclusions based on this data? Which one would you opt for? Comment below.